Good morning, Raymond Otters from Pivot3 here at ISC West. I'm a solutions architect, and I'm going to show you the basic architecture of a video surveillance solution. So we're going to start out with the definition of what our architecture is. So that each box here is, a, is either a Lenovo or a uh, Dell x86 server. On that, we virtualize our software, which is VStack, which is this Pivot3 uh, box right here. We're virtualizing the VMS environment and, at, and providing storage for you. So when I have three nodes, I'm able to combine that into a storage SAN, an IP SCSI SAN. So each node has redundant connections to each, to SAN 0 and SAN 1. The camera network has connections to each VM. The VM could be a Windows 2012 server running your VMS application, or a client, or a directory server, or a failover server, or access control. We can combine workloads and, com and uh, provide storage for each of these VMs. Our storage is global, so this would be 216 terabytes of storage usable. Each one of these volumes can be carved out. So if I need five terabyte here, I can do 10 terabyte for this one, and I could do two terabyte and provide that for this VM that maybe is a directory server. Now this VM is an archiver and may need several drives of 10 terabyte. This allows you to flexibly provide storage and grow capacity as needed. So this is a small array that would allow you 216 terabyte of usable, but I can also expand by adding down. I can go all the way to 12 nodes. This will allow me to go to 1.237 petabytes of storage. As I grow, I can decide whether I want compute and storage on each node. So I can grow this by adding storage and by adding virtual machines. This allows me to design a system to meet your needs today and grow for the future. Now what Pivot3 does, uh, basic architecture designed into the system is failover. There's many types of failover that you can get with VMSs. So you have VMS failover for archiver, the cameras fail over automatically to that. If something happened to the, to the archiver, the cameras would switch over and record. We're able to, to fail over a VM. If this VM were to fail, or this box were to fail, I'm able to take these VMs and reboot them onto that box that is uh, part of the array and acts as your failover hardware solution. If you wanted to have a failover archiver on this, this box, one of these VMs would fail over there, the other one would reboot, and you'd be back up and running. You would not miss any video uh, recording at all. So you, no frame loss, uh, no degradation, because we know that that video is important to you and you have to have it. So underlined to this, our solution is VMware. We run on a hypervisor uh, that allows us to virtualize our software, which is VStack. Uh, it allows us to run virtual machines. Uh, VStack would have its own connection so that we can manage it. Uh, you would manage the entire array through a VStack plugin uh, to vCenter or through the uh, vSphere client. You'd be able to manage VMs, move VMs as needed, uh, and create this, the LUNs as needed through that one central pane of glass, that one management interface. Uh, it allows you to grow the solution per node, about five or six clicks, and adding in the, the box to the rack, and you're up and running, and you're expanding uh, your solution by adding compute or by adding storage uh, to the solution. So you can grow as needed. In a multi-camera solution, uh, with hundreds of cameras, we have many sites, many casinos, many airports that are using these solutions because they need high available, highly redundant solutions. Every box has redundant power supplies, uh, redundant SAN networks, redundant uh, management networks, and you, you have the choice to run, run uh, redundant camera networks also. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at www.pivot3.com. I appreciate uh, your time. Have a wonderful day.